Hey, I'm Frederick Van Johnson. I'm sitting here with my good friend, Mr. Trey Radcliffe, and we're in New Zealand, Queenstown, New Zealand, for this guy's infamous, famous landscape photography <laughs> workshop. It's both. They, they cancel each other out, and it's like a non-event. It, it's awesome. It's an adventure. It's a, an adventure yeah. of a lifetime. We're a day, like, four or five here, and we've got memory cards full of stuff. Our minds are blown. But oh. I wanted to pull this guy aside, for one, to just get a quick kind of vignette of Everybody always asks, why did Trey move to New Zealand? So I want to ask him that. But yeah. then I want to dive into his bag and see what he carries around on these adventures. So why, yeah. why, why New Zealand, Trey, and why? All oh, right, okay. <laughs> By the way, we're also going to go into your bag, too. We're going right? to go into my bag, I, too. Yes. Because you asked some cool stuff, and I want this video so I can remember what's in your bag. You got it. I'll, I'll forget. It'll be your digital notes. Yeah, so why, <laughs> why New Zealand? Well, so I started the blog, you know, like seven years ago. Mm -hmm. and. Forever, it was just me and my mom on the lonely thing. She still comments every day. She's like my number one fan. But at some point, it, it got like popular by word of mouth and social media and all that, you know, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it, it started getting uh, really profitable, much to my surprise, it continued surprise. Mm -hmm. And so we we suddenly had like extra resources for mm -hmm. me and uh, my and the family. The profit came from the from the sales of the tutorials and that kind of thing, uh, or, yeah, or prints. Everything from from licensing works to uh, companies to uh, to tutorials to mm -hmm. speaking engagements to yeah, it was like you know six or seven re revenue streams. Sweet. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, so we had all this extra resources that we couldn't leave. We, could, we can move anywhere in the world. Where should we move? Let's take the family on a huge adventure. And I have a wife, and we have uh, three kids, you know, mm -hmm. various ages. And we're like, let's go do it. Yeah. And so I haven't been everywhere, but of the places I've been, I found New Zealand to be the most livable. I love, look, there's all kinds of wonderful things about New Zealand, that especially photographers mm -hmm. know. But I think this is going to sound super new agey, I apologize. Yeah. And so like I resonate with, this will only resonate with like 5% <laughs> of your audience. Okay, but like I came here and I just feel like this really good energy, this sort of ebullient um, excitement mm -hmm. for some reason. And there are these energy ley lines that are here and I, I feel super creative and yeah. happy. The people here are super zen, they're laid back. They don't take themselves too seriously. Yeah. You know? So it's and, a slower pace to life here. Yeah. yeah. No, it's like, uh, you know, sort of like an Italian way of life. They mm -hmm. have nice long meals and mm -hmm. you just really get to know each other and people aren't like pretending all the time. And, yeah. Uh, that sort of, I was not like anti-US. I don't mean to, yeah, I was yeah. fine there. I was just fine. Yeah. yeah. But this is like, it's like a 10 out of 10 and I just feel, you know, I just, I feel at home. Awesome. All right. Well, I don't want to make it all about your relocation yeah, okay. to New Zealand. I want to talk uh, about what's in your bag. So first of all, what, what camera yeah. are you shooting with? I know when we first met, you were shooting Nikon. Yeah. You had like the big, the big Sherman tank yeah. going yeah. on and the lenses and Iron all that and stuff. glass and mirrors. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what happened? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, I've, I've totally switched to Sony. Uh, mm -hmm. I shoot with two Sony A7Rs. Mm -hmm. I like it so much I bought a second one. Yes. And uh, actually, so you want me to see what's in my bag? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. yeah, let's just break it out. So, so this is my bag. Mm -hmm. You can just and pull out a piece, talk about it, and sit Yeah, of course. So uh, people always want to know what my bag is. I actually just bought this in, in Tokyo. It's not even a camera bag. It's like made by Art Berg, um, Art slash or Art dash B E R G. I just bought it for like a hundred bucks. And nice. the thing is, here's the thing: when you go to smaller cameras, mm -hmm. you don't really have to get a camera bag. You can just like get cool looking bags, lots of pockets, you yeah. know, which is yeah. awesome. So this can actually hold two uh, Sony A7Rs. Mm -hmm. Both of them are full frame. It, I can hold about four lenses in here, plus two full, full frame cameras. Yeah. And this is just a little thing that just that slides over my shoulder, or like you know, kind of uh, mm -hmm. Chewbacca bandolier style. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's unbelievable. It's like a camel pack almost. Like it should be a straw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you what's inside, but uh, first I'll show you what's outside because okay. I already took one of them out. Yeah. So this is the Sony A7R here, and um, on this I have people want to know lenses and stuff like that. I know I'm, I'm nerdy like that. Of course. Too. Yeah. Numbers. So this is uh, a 24 to 70. This is an FE lens, mm -hmm. one of the few FE lenses they've actually uh, released. For people that aren't Sony people, what does FE mean? This Something is, good. <laughs> yeah, this is their new. <laughs> Normally, Sony, for their NEX series, has the E-mount system, mm -hmm. which is their cropped sensor. Right. But now that they have a full-frame sensor, they have FE lenses, which means full-frame sensors, right? right? So I get full-frame greatness, 36 megapixel, wonderful, wonderful. awesomeness. Yep. Okay, so, what else do I have in here? Yeah, You're I'm wondering. Excited. All right, there's just steam coming out at this point. <laughs> yeah. um, so here I have my other camera. Mm -hmm. I normally carry uh, two cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's slung around. 
This is sort of my people one for objects, for little things that I see. Mm -hmm. This is like for serious landscape work. Okay. By the and way, these lenses uh, are the ones that you primarily keep on these bodies all the yeah. most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are kind of my go-to lenses. I'll okay. show you a few others. Okay. I'm, I'm very, I'm not a big lens guy. I don't think you need that many lenses. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, I should say that this is a really right stuff tripod mm -hmm. and a really right stuff tripod head. Um, I love this thing. It's it's fantastic. And it's carbon fiber, right? Uh, it's super light. I think it's better and stronger than its schizo counterpart. Nice. Um, now on here, this is a Leica lens. All right. That's an amazing looking uh, lens. Actually, if I look, maybe if, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's unbelievable. It's a great lens. Wow. And so. Um, I have this little adapter on here. This is so thin, like it's the thickness of my finger. This is the Leica adapter. It's a NovaFlex adapter. Mm -hmm. So you can put any Leica lens that you want to on here. Yes. And it is, I think this is the, the X Factor. Mm -hmm. And some are, some are expensive, but there's also arm mount lenses that are not as expensive. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just fantastic. I'm gonna put together a little Leica lens buying guide because I've taken a crash course on this stuff and I'm honestly still getting to know them, but yeah. I'm getting pretty good at them. Um, and I think you can get a whole range of Leica lenses at a really reasonable price and attach them to these. So you can sell your DSLR system, mm -hmm. get, get two of these, get amazing lenses, yeah. and just like, like be re-energized. And a small bag for a hundred bucks, throw yeah. it all in there and go. Oh, yeah. This lens here, how fast is that lens? This is a F1.4. This 1 is a 50 millimeter Sumalux lens. Okay. Yeah, sweet. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, keep going. Uh, what else is going on in here? Um, what's gonna come out next? More so toys. this is the ultra wide angle lens. Uh, this is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Now, this is an E-mount lens, which means it works on the old NEX system, but it also attaches to this. You get a little bit of a ring on the outside around 10 millimeters and 18 millimeters. Like a little vignetting? Yeah, a little vignetting. Actually, not like vignetting. You actually see like the plastic part of oh, the ring. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, but as long as you're between 11 and 17, you're good to go. Okay. You still get full frame, 36 megapixel greatness. And you've made some and crazy art with that little thing. Yeah, this yeah. thing's great. It's so light, it's like nothing. Yeah. I mean, compared to that that ridiculous uh, 14 to 24 lens I had for the Nikon, yeah. you know, that, that with, thing. With the uh, bulbous yeah. kind of... No, know, that yeah. thing has its own sense of gravity. Yes. Uh, so this is my favorite wide angle lens. What? Um, the only other lens I have in here is, is this one. It's a big ball. So this is um, an alpha lens. Okay, it's for the old it's Sony the, it's A77 the alpha system, yeah. right? And this one is, what is it? It's 70 to 300. Mm -hmm. So this is my super zoomy lens. They don't make a good one for this yet, so yeah. I have to use this big adapter and there's like a, a mirror in here. I don't even know really so what's this, going this, on. But. Yeah, this essentially changes your mirrorless camera into a DSLR, because it yes. gives it a mirror. Right, right. Yeah. well that's the big idea. Is of course you can use this tiny camera with all of its smarts with any lens system. Yeah. Nikon, Canon, the Which old Sony system. It's a smart system. move for Sony, because that's the, yeah. that's the point of resistance for a lot of photographers. Yeah. They're like, you know, all these lenses, what am I gonna do with these lenses right. if I jump to a new system? So they have an answer for that. And uh, the only other like interesting piece of equipment in here I have is this. Do you know what's in here? A lightsaber. What, what could it be? <laughs> Look at this. That is a lightsaber. What is yeah, that? Something like that must look kind of familiar to you, it right? Is. Look at that. What is uh, this? This is a wicked laser. Um, it's unbelievable. In fact, at home, sometimes my son and I, we point into the fireplace. Mm -hmm. After a few seconds, that thing is burning like an inferno. It's actually quite dangerous. That I can't be legal. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually, cool. I was going to attach it but to why my. Why do you have that in your bag? What do you need that for? Oh, just for light painting and having fun. Oh, okay. You know? okay. Photography is about fun. Yeah. Another light source. Um, okay, and I'll show the little things. I'm making a mess here. This yeah, is getting. Go for it. This is getting a little. I'm going to do the same thing. You know what I have in here? A little emergency chocolate. Look at that. You gotta have the chocolate. Yeah. yeah. A little peanut Whitakers in there. Yeah. So then in these three vertical pockets. Actually, they're pretty empty. This top one, I have like extra batteries because this thing eats batteries like a son of a gun. Yeah, so I hear. But I can't really complain. These are tiny, they're easy to recharge, they weigh nothing. So you just pop another one in, you're good to go. Yeah. And then after I've used them, I move them down to the, that's my system, I have, I have a system. I move them down to the bottom one. So what happens in the middle? Um, well. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should ask. Yeah, funny you should ask. Actually, not much happens in the middle. These are just like extra memory cards and oh, I okay. never actually use them. I've got 264, gig cards. I, just, I don't think I've ever used another card. I don't even know why I carry them. So I think someday I'll just take a, that many photos. But just I, in case. Right? It hasn't happened yet. And down here, these Doesn't are like hurt. lens caps and all that and nonsense. 
That's all. Well, what else do you need? That see, you know, that's interesting because a lot of photographers, you know, will have. Well, when you when we go into my bag, I have yeah. like six lenses in there, and you're yeah. right. We've been on these adventures, and yeah. I haven't used. I've used maybe two or three of them. Yeah. But well, look, I, I still feel like I'm missing something if I don't have them with me. Ah, uh, that's only in your head. Though. It's in my head. I yeah. know it is. I know it's in my head. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what's in yours. All right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna pause this right here. We're gonna see what's in my bag. All right. So now we're gonna take a look at what's in my bag, which is also a mirrorless system. So one caveat is that we're using my camera to shoot this video with, which is a yes. Panasonic GX7. So Fine we're camera. Yeah, and we're using some more kit that right. stays in my bag. These two mics. Right. are running into the GX7 and recording our audio. Wait, so. you must be sponsored by Panasonic just like I'm sponsored by Sony. Exactly, which is not, I am not. not Although true. I just buy their stuff. Yeah. I like their stuff. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what else is in my bag? So my other camera that I carry around is this guy. So this is a Panasonic Lumix GX7. Yeah. And on it is a 714 lens. And this is a Micro mm -hmm. Four Thirds camera. Mm -hmm. So 2X? The, 2X, yeah. So this is a 14 to 28 okay. essentially lens. Right? I got my little strap yeah. on there. You it's know. a cute little sensor you have on that thing. It is. It's like a lady's pistol. <laughs> Jay, yeah. it's not the size of the sensor. It's what you can do with it. All okay. right, just keep telling yourself that. I know you have that on a magnet on your fridge. I do, I do. You I can do. read it as many times as you want to make it true. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> all right, look at this little thing. Speaking yeah. of small, so this is my little. Yeah. This is my favorite lens oh. of all time. This mm. is a 45 millimeter uh, 1.8. Oh, and it's just amazing. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, it is so cool. It comes with a little lens shade, just like that. It makes sense. You know, look at this. This is all, this is Olympus. Mm. So, but look at that. Yeah. yeah, it's just this little tiny lens, just like that. Yeah, and That's I can throw cool, that in my pocket it? and roll. You know yeah. what the equivalent of this? Because this is what a ninety, right? Yeah. The equivalent ninety yeah. f one eight yeah. is gigantic. Yeah. Yeah. So I get to play around with that. And then also, remember I said lenses, right? Yeah. So here's my. Um, 35 to 100, also Panasonic. Ah, so okay. 70 to 200 equivalent, mm -hmm. F2.8. Got that guy in there. Off-brand lens, so this Rokinon. I yeah. found this on Amazon for like, I wanna say it was like 50 bucks or something. And this is a fisheye. Ah, it's a fisheye lens. Wow. I think it's like seven or something. That's cool. But it's just crazy, you throw it on there. Yeah. It's micro four thirds. Yeah. And look how little these are. I mean, yeah. it's a fisheye lens yeah. in my bag, that's small. Yeah. Okay, so then the last lens I have in here. They remind you of those little, you know when you were camping as a kid and you have those cups that would like escalate out? Yes. <laughs> that's what they were. That's totally. What every lens reminds me of. <laughs> totally. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. So this is a 100 to 300, so this mm. is a 200 to 600 equivalent. Okay. F2.8. 600. Also. Yeah. Fitty, fitty, hunt and hunt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this is, this is, city. and then on the camera there yeah. is a 12 to 35. All so that's right. a 24 to 70 equivalent. So I have the trifecta of lenses yeah. covered. So then also camera wise in here, there's this guy. Yep. Because I do video mm -hmm. and you know, so um, in fact, we were up on the, where were we yesterday? The, the Korean, um, yeah, a North Korean prison. North Korean here. prison. Yeah, uh, it was a movie set. Yeah. So we went there, and I stuck this on the outside of the bus, and did some video of us coming back down the mountain, and it's just beautiful, you know, looking yeah. over the mountains. So it's good for that kind of stuff. This is like yeah. a GoPro equivalent device. Okay. Cool thing about that is this. So this is a little wristwatch video monitor that. Wi Fi's into that, so you can check your footage. Super nerdy. Right cool. It's very James yeah. Bond. <laughs> very James Bond. And then that's yeah. it for that stuff. So then yeah. I have, you know, just like you, these little guys, they eat through battery. So I have, mm -hmm. look at this. Let me just show you. It's a lot of battery. A ton of batteries. That looks like my junk drawer at home. <laughs> a ton of batteries yeah. that I keep with me, just in case, you They're know. all different formats, too. What a pain. Yeah, because this, this GX7 yeah, uses a different yeah. format than that one, then, you know, so, and this one is all different. All right. Um, and I have chargers in my yeah. room, as you can imagine, all over the place. So, this bag right here normally has these mics that we're wearing mm. in here, wrapped yeah. up. But otherwise, this is my audio kit. Okay. So, in my audio kit is this guy, which you saw before. So this is a Sony Music video camera. And what it does, it's a digital audio, like yeah. it's like a Zoom H4n yeah. with one of these things grafted onto it. Ah, so yeah. I can do that kind of footage, you know, sort of port, point of view footage, or I can plug mics into it and do mm. interviews and that sort of thing. So to set that up, if I want to use video, I have a little tripod mm. in there. If I want to do, like say I'm doing an interview with you and you're sitting on the couch over there, I want to shotgun you. 
I can use my little shotgun mic. Mm. <laughs> it's also in the bag. It just keeps coming. Yeah. Uh, this is like a TARDIS. It's They're crazy. Out of their neck to pizza. It's crazy. <laughs> and then this is just an extension cord for okay. the for the mics. Yeah. And that's it. That's yeah. it. So, just to talk you through how, just quickly, how I do. Say I was going to do an interview like this yeah. with you, um, and I was going to use something else, not this this GH3, which has audio in. I can plug these mics into it. If I was going to use this camera or that camera. I can record the audio onto this thing separately okay. and then match it up in software later. I see. Why wouldn't you do the audio and video <laughs> on that me. one? Say that, say that again. Why wouldn't you do the audio and video on that one? Um, well, because this is so wide angle. Ah, this is an okay. ultra wide angle lens and it's, it's, you know, it's little, it's crappy compared to doing it on, ah, with these big yeah. sensors. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not crappy crappy, but yeah. you know, it'll get the job done, but it's not luscious. Like this yeah. video is going to look great, yeah. right? Right. So. Because you're in it. It's because I'm in it, yeah. <laughs> And then the last, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> the last no, thing in no here. response to that. He's got to roll with it. Last thing, because I'm trying to be a professional here, here <laughs> is this thing. And I know you yeah. carry one of these too, right? A little um, remote? I do, I care, but it mine's wireless. A little okay. wireless IR remote. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That one's, this one's wired and it's an intravolometer. So ah. I can do the you know, time lapses right, and stuff like that. Can. Yep, well, and then um, that's it. I, next time you interview me, I probably will have like probably two more lenses. I won't be riding this light. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you feeling inadequate with all this? No. I have no <laughs> sense of inadequacy about you. I'm a fully self-confident man. He's so aware. However, <laughs> yes. uh, I am going to get uh, like the, two more Leica lenses. I'm going to get cool. a nice uh, 24 millimeter, like mm -hmm. 1.4 for mm -hmm. doing like dark stuff mm -hmm. and shallow depth of field. I'm actually super interested now in shallow depth of field landscapey work. Yeah. It's interesting. Nice. And I also want to get something like you. You have that 90 millimeter 1.4. I want to yeah. get something like that in the Leica line. Yeah. Because that's really good for portraits. This you can is just, beautiful. It's, um, yeah, that's yeah. a really good idea. So cool. anyway, I'm always thinking about what to have next and you're you're tempting me as always. All right, well, yeah, well now you now you know what I carry around with. With this kit, I can go anywhere. So I've traveled all over the place and I can do this yeah. stuff. Like you're just like, hey, let's do what's in your no, back you're, video. You're fast. I can and do you're it. You're up and running in no time. You are like the multimediographer for the ages. Thank you. That's yeah. that's my goal. Yeah. Cool. All right, it looks like our team is getting ready to leave here. It's time to go. Yeah, no, we're, we're going on another adventure. We're taking a bus up to the Remarkables. Let's go do it. Let's, let's go hit the mountains. Art. Let's make some magic. Let's put look, you're done. And I gotta put all my go. stuff back in the <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just Don't leave. <laughs> I gotta know. go like that. It's all plastic, it'll just bounce in. I there. know, I know. All right, Trey, thanks a lot. Thank so, you, uh, it's just to close it off, as far as this workshop that we're doing right now, yeah. you're gonna be doing these more in the future. Well, right? we do maybe two a year. Okay. Um, actually, everything this year is sold out. We haven't opened up anything for next oh, year. So, then there's no place for people um, to go sign up. You don't but, have a list or anything? Um, no, they can sign up for our newsletter. But okay. really, they ought to come check out the Arcanum. Because the Arcanum.com, this is our new thing, and this is actually what scales better than workshops. Mm -hmm. Workshops are actually incredibly inefficient because it's hard to get your body to New Zealand. Right. Um, yeah, Trust so it's me. like a new way to have a, a series of, of masters and apprentices mm -hmm. that connect and learn, and which is really what we're all doing together. It's just, yeah. I think it's a better, more efficient way. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. All right, let's man, go. thanks.